Meet Maverick. A true maverick in every sense of the word. Maverick Harvey represent valor. Street fighter. To the people, with the people, for the people. You feel me? And when he's not risking his neck in the ring, he's risking his life in the streets. Full of scramble. Plow. Go, no, no, ask it. Cold, critical. Oh, for some epic. Get it, spit it, hit it in a minute. For minutes, saw all static bitches. Get it, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. And it's a cat. Crumbling, crumbling, green, crumbling, doubling, havoc, touch my havoc, force of habit, force of nature, delete ya, open handed, erase the defeat ya, diminishing, criticism, pity him, small fry, appetite, sunrise, it's all bad, nigga, it's all bad. Yeah, say 51, 50, it's all his opponent, Shannon Rich, is the most active MMA fighter in the world. To say he's experienced is an understatement. Hey, my name's Shannon the Cannon. Come watch me fight. You'll see why they call me the Cannon. And this isn't the first time these two warriors have battled it out. Shannon took off like a cannon, seizing control from the beginning. His furious blows put Maverick's back against the cave, but then Maverick tried to turn things around. But Shannon would not be denied. Shannon pounded away on Maverick's head. And then the unexpected happened. Shannon pushed things too hard and suffered a break in his left hand. The bout would have to be stopped, but Maverick demanded to finish what was started in the octagon. His anger would not be contained, and a near riot broke out that night. Now, a newly rejuvenated Shannon Rich looks to finish off Maverick, but Maverick has ideas of his own. Shannon, get back to the next. Is next. I'll tell you what, if you're not excited, you better check your pulse. We really look like Shannon McKinnon had the advantage on him in their last fight when the uh, fight was stopped due to an injury. I guess he broke his hand hitting Maverick in the head. He must have a pretty hard head. Well, that goes without saying, but the cannon's here to finish the job tonight. Definitely a score to be settled. Let's hear the cannon fire. Hey, Shannon McKinnon, Rich. Studied everything. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Kickboxing, Traditional Karate, Taekwondo, Kung Fu, Kempo Karate, Boxing, Collegiate Wrestling. I've studied it all. Last year I went to Iraq. I was a bodyguard for John Negroponte, the United States Ambassador to Iraq. I worked with a security company, private security company over there. I've pretty much seen it all. There's a lot of stuff going on over there and I was glad to be part of it. I support my president and I support my troops. So. Uh, that's pretty much why I wear red, white, and blue now when I fight. I mean, not only do I fight all over the world, but I want to represent the United States when I do fight. Because red, white, and blue, those are my colors, and they don't run. Maverick Harvey, I'm going to hit you three ways. Hard, fast, and continuous. And our camera's caught up with Shannon in the back training for this fight. He broke his hand last time. That hand looks good tonight. It looks good tonight, but at the same time, it may have affected his training. He looks a little soft to me tonight. And I'm not a big fan of people jumping up on the cage before the fight is over. You gotta win to do that. Yeah, and that's gonna be no easy task. Because here comes the Soul Collector. The belt is in, the cage combat light heavyweight title, a title that he has held for over five years. Nobody's gonna take it from him. That's right, Todd, but the belt is not on the line here. It's all about bragging rights. Let's hear some more from this underground legend. My name is Maverick Wesley Harden, the epitome of the king of the streets. My nickname is a soul collector. Collect all the bad souls in the streets and in the cage. I don't mean that in a bad way, and I don't mean that in a good way. If you step in that cage with a bad soul, you bet your bet your butt, I'm going to collect it first. Because after I collect your soul, then I'll put these hands in your face. I'm a street fighter. Discipline this. What more discipline do you need to have than walking on the streets? You never know who comes up on you. It could be good, bad, different, big guy, small guy, little guy, crazy, psycho, Taliban, whatever. My discipline is I'm the king of the streets. I am the soul collector. My discipline is to fight and to win. Shannon the Cannon has shown great ability. But the bottom line is the soul collector, the people's fighter, the street fighter for life will prevail. Okay. The Cannon. <laughs> I think we know who's got the real cannons. The proverbial gauntlet has been thrown down to be fun and talk the talk, but now it's time to walk the walk. It's going to be nothing short of hand to hand combat. It looks like they're going to get each other's face with all the big post down. Shannon, Kenny, Kiss, and Ronald. Come on, the double bicep right back.
back at it. Well, this is really has the big fight atmosphere. Look at the mind games coming into play here, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, you know, she, man, he's looking a little soft. I don't know if that hand injury affected his training at all, but uh, we'll see if it affected his fighting. Well, one thing's for certain. These two do not like each other. They sure don't. No, Look at the stare down. Oh, Maverick didn't want to look at him. Shannon hit him reducing the first on the face. Fighting here out of the blue corner wearing the stars and bars, baby. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 190 pounds. Originally from Phoenix, Arizona, now fighting out of Anchorage, Alaska. He's a Muay Thai fighter representing Team Cannon. This is the most active mixed martial arts fighter in the world. He is a Pride veteran, a K-1 veteran, an X-1 veteran, a Pancras veteran, a four-time mixed martial arts world champion, and the current Russian world champion, 2005 Universal Martial Arts Hall of Fame International Fighter of the Year, with a professional record of 80 wins, 62 losses, and two draws. Give it up right now for Shannon the Cannon Rich! This man is a warrior over 100 pro fights. A century on the field. And may really well be, but his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black and white trunks, this man stands 5 foot 10, winning at 205 pounds! He is the longest winning cage announcements but these guys tons of accolades like you mentioned bragging rights on the line they're grizzled veterans 35 years apiece that's right uh, looks like about 15 pound difference between them. that's definitely gonna work to Maverick's advantage let's see if he can use that way to his advantage here Are you ready? Some action yeah, Maverick is so explosive he's Mike Tyson like if you blink you might miss something he's so devastated with his punches and again, Shannon the Cannon's uh, almost Sugar Ray Leonard-esque. He likes to showboat and hang out and dance in there and uh, try to make his opponent look stupid. Open it up with a nice jab, leg kick combination. Uh, Maverick comes right back with some nice leg kicks of his own, but Shannon right back in his face with some punches. Um, these guys obviously have a little bit of respect for each other. Oh, and a big high kick by Shannon. Yeah, it worked for Kalama earlier, and Shannon going for that. You know, neither man, both guys have to kind of feel each other out because you don't want to make a mistake. Both guys are so good, they can capitalize and you can be in trouble early. Definitely. Uh, wow. Uh, Shannon really, really selling out with that high kick there. But, oh, he, he made a mistake. He let Maverick mount him. Maverick's going to make him pay, I think. Throwing down some blows. Shan oh, oh, Shannon stands right up out of there into a judo toss. Amazing athletic ability on the behalf of Shannon the Cannon. What a takedown by Rich, but look at the composure oh, of Maverick. Oh, he's looking for an ankle lock here. He's got, he's got a heel hook set, but uh, I've known Maverick not to tap. I've seen Maverick in some bad submissions before, and he just will not quit. He, he is will not so give up. tough, Justin. Look at this. Likewise, it looks like perhaps... Uh, for a second there, the Maverick was going to go for a heel hook of his own. You know, that's the danger of playing that game. You get down there in that heel hook war, and, it, and it's just as easy for your opponent to set one in on you as it is for you to finish yours. Shannon the Cannon was just like an alligator in a death row, and look, holding on to that ankle. Well, it must Very be pretty deep because uh, Maverick kind of just sat to his back there without much of a fight. Oh, and he gets out fairly easy. Thus far, living up to the belling, it has been back and forth. Neither man able to get the definitive advantage. Big knee there big by knee. the Sultan. On another big knee, sends him to the canvas. Maverick with some big strikes from up above. The referee has stopped this thing. What a shocker. It's over just like that in the first round. The cannon was getting pummeled by the Soul Collector, and this fight is over just like that, Justin. Going back to the replay, it looks like Shannon the cannon was doing quite well here. Almost as if he had complete control of this match until that point right there. Look at that. Take what care. Beautiful. That was gorgeous. He must have learned that on his travels to Japan. However, uh, Maverick switched up and, and countered it beautifully once they hit the ground. Now, this heel hook here seemed to be the end of the match, but Maverick passed it and ended up giving him those devastating knees 
and these huge strikes. Raining down those punches, giving the referee no choice. Ladies and gentlemen, match. here in our main event at a time on one minute. 42 seconds of the very first round by TKO referee stoppage. Your winner, racking up one more soul, the soul collector, Maverick Harvey. I'll tell you what, the two just squared up again. I don't know if it's over between these two. And how about it was the Roman Shannon, the cannon is. They have stopped it. We had that angle right out tight. We couldn't quite finish it off. We could have let it go a little bit longer. Definitely in the main event, you want to let the guy uh, have every opportunity he can to recover and keep fighting on. Uh, that one could have been a little bit earlier, in my opinion. I'll tell you what, though.